So if you saw my last video, you may have heard of an exciting start to my month of April. So what happened in the month of April? Did my prediction of having a good month come true? Also, make sure to stay to the end of the video where I'm going to share with you one of my favorite tips that Shauna had me implement last year in my shop, and I immediately started seeing changes within views and sales. Also, I will make sure to leave you with some inspiration to keep you going through this Etsy journey, and honestly, in life in general. Hi guys, Lenata here. So last video I shared with you guys how my orders increased for the month of March in my Etsy print on demand shop. And for those of you who are joining us for the first time and just happen to find this video, what is a print on demand shop? A print on demand shop on Etsy is a shop where you design products and your print on demand partner company like Printify and Printful prints and ships the products directly to your customer on your behalf. So you never have to have product on hand, nor do you have to physically make the product other than the original design. And so in the previous video, I actually ended with mentioning how I had gotten a big order at the beginning of April. I was actually really excited for where April could go and I was predicting that I was gonna do pretty well. So how did I do for the month of April? So let's look at the stats for April 2023 so we can kind of see where I started last year and then where I ended this year. So in April 2023, I had 3,985 visits. I had a total of 41 orders, a conversion rate of 1%, and a revenue of 3,763 with 20 cents. Now, that's not bad. It was actually a pretty good month, March, April, May being like really good kickoff last year. Um, in comparison to what I was doing previously, which was basically nothing. So how did I do this year? So in April of 2024, I had a total of 2,742 visits. Now, my visits did decrease by 31%, but if you saw in March, they had also de decreased. This year in general, I feel like the visits have decreased, but not necessarily anything else. So my visits were at 2,742. Then I had a conversion rate of 2.5%. Now, in comparison to the previous year, that went up 141%. That is amazing. And I was really excited when I started seeing my conversion rate in these last couple of months being past 2%. Now my orders. I was really excited about this one because even though I have less visits, I had a total of 68 orders, which that was a 66% increase. I'm really excited about that because it was kind of following the trend of March where my orders increased. So last year I had 41, now I had 68. That's amazing. I'm not having as much traffic, but I'm still having more people purchase. So that's always what we want to see. I said it in my last video. We always want to see that trend of getting more orders, meaning more individual people seeing your shop, wanting to purchase from your shop, and hopefully maybe even returning to my shop. My revenue for 2024 was $3,835.99. Now that's only a 2% increase, but you know what? I'm gonna change the way I just said that and I'm not gonna say that was only 2%. That was a 2% increase. So I made more than what I did last year and I'm happy about that and I'm excited. Would I have liked to see a little bit more revenue? Of course I would, but I'm really excited that I saw an increase in my orders and that that just in general means that more people are looking at my shop and coming in to purchase. Now, that beginning order was a big group order of 32 shirts. That customer actually ended up coming back into my shop a few weeks later and purchased two more shirts. So her total for that order was 34 shirts. So I started the month out really big and really exciting and it didn't disappoint. I'm not disappointed by any of the numbers. It's interesting to see though how the views have decreased this year in comparison to last year, but my conversion rate is higher, my orders are higher, 
I am really excited to see where May is going to kick off because even though I haven't had a big order like that 32, 34 shirt order that I did in April, I have been seeing a lot more views in certain listings. So there's plenty of things coming up to start preparing, not just for Q4, we have 4th of July, we have Father's Day, but if for whatever reason you're having difficulty on figuring out what to design for next, Simply Shauna has an amazing general calendar that helps you figure out each month when to get certain designs, certain niches up, listed, and when are the deadlines for when you should have them up, which would give you time to have them be seen so that people can start purchasing. Um, I love her calendars. I follow her calendars for everything. She has several, but if you're looking for just a general idea of what to design every month, her general calendar is amazing. I have it in my bag with my computer and I pull it out all the time to figure out what should I be designing next? What should I be working on so that I make the best out of what I put out so that I can keep increasing? Now, what is one of my favorite tips that Shauna had me implement last year in my shop and I saw results? Sales, daily sales. Now, in the beginning, when she told me about sales, since I wasn't in my shop a lot, I wasn't as consistent in the beginning, like I've discussed before in my previous videos, I would kind of get lazy with it, and so I wasn't doing daily sales, meaning setting up the sale to start that day and end that day. So when you're in somebody's Etsy shop, if they have a sale and it's daily sales like that, it actually lets them know, oh, hurry up and purchase because the sale ends in three hours. Hurry up and purchase because the sale ends in one hour. You don't want to miss out, something like that. It mentions about how the sale is going to end. Now, since I was, again, since I wasn't in my shop as consistently in the beginning, I would do monthly sales to where at least I had a sale up every day and it wouldn't end until the month. So it wouldn't give that countdown until it was the last day of the month and then I would set it up again. Once I started actually being consistent and setting up the daily sales, I noticed a difference. Because most people are looking for a bargain. They're looking for a sale. So you want to get the sale before it runs out. So seeing that countdown in the shop that it ends every day, you don't know if the seller is gonna have a sale the next day. So it kind of tricks the customer into like, oh, I need to get this now because if there's no sale tomorrow, then I've missed out on the sale. So daily sales in my shop of 20%. That's what I started out with. During Q4, I think for like Black Friday weekend and a, and a few weeks after that, I had it at 25%. So I go between 20 and 25%. Right now I have a 20% off sale in my shop at all times, daily sales. I find it really easy to set up at least for the entire week, the daily sales. So I don't have to remember to go in every single day to put in the sale. Because when I do that, I tend to forget and then I don't have the sale up the next day. So I try to set up, at, if it's not for the whole month, I try to set it up for the week, the daily sales where they end every single day and start the next day. Now, the prices that I set up for my shop, for my listings, are already including that they are gonna be discounted. So it's still, I'm not losing out in profit, you know, after fees and everything, like I'm not losing out on money, even with those sales. So you want to make sure to adjust your prices to where if your sale is on, it's not gonna affect the actual revenue profit that you would be making from the listing. You don't wanna have to be paying to make these things for people. So you just make sure to adjust your prices accordingly. But sales are fantastic. I think they're amazing. It is another thing that I discussed in my first video on Simply Shauna's YouTube channel that she did an interview of me making my first sales and where I was going and we discussed sales in that. So I will be making sure to link that video below so that you guys can visit it if you haven't seen it already where we discuss sales and all the different tips and tricks that I implemented that I started seeing changes and I'm still seeing changes today and good changes. Now, if you like the content that you're seeing with us, please make sure to like the video below and subscribe to our channel. That way you guys get a notification whenever our new videos are coming out and you can see myself, Mike, Shauna, Shay, and... Sometimes me. 
<laughs> and Happy sometimes my birthday, <laughs> baby. It's your birthday. It's my birthday. <laughs> and sometimes seeing Manny popping in and doing some fun videos with us. So please make sure to like and subscribe. Now, to leave you with a little inspiration. This is, I think, not just helpful for when we're getting down during our listings, during this Etsy journey, not getting sales, getting sales, being tired, not making listings and not being consistent, but also in life. I find this to be super helpful. I have a stressful day-to-day -day job being a mental health therapist. And when I read about this and when I heard about this, it honestly made me feel warm and fuzzy because I think this is so true and it's something that helps me get through my days. Not just when I'm feeling down about my success with Etsy or my lack of increases or even just having a, a, a bad day, to be honest. This is something that helps me a lot and it's called glimmers. Have you ever heard of glimmers? Glimmers are the opposite of triggers. Glimmers are tiny moments that spark joy, calm, and connection. Glimmers act as cues of safety to the brain. Noticing glimmers strengthens the neural pathways related to emotion regulation. So it can be any type of fleeting everyday moment that elicits a rush of happiness, gratitude, calm, peace, safety, or even goodwill. Some examples of glimmers include spotting a rainbow, hearing your favorite song in the grocery store, feeling the warmth of the sun on your skin, hanging out with your friends on a night out, hanging out with your friends while you're traveling, anything that elicits those beautiful, peaceful, happy feelings is a glimmer. And in moments when we're feeling down, those are the things to remember. Those are the things to look out for is glimmers. I even love the way it sounds, the word glimmers. It's just tiny little sparks of joy. And I want everyone in this next coming month to notice as many glimmers that pop into your life. And please, in this video, if there's some that spark a memory as you're watching this video, please add it to the comments below. I would love to see what your glimmers are. Some of my glimmers that literally breathe life into, into me, into my soul, are my no friends left behind group. Hanging out with them and laughing and talking about everything and absolutely nothing all at the same time brings just a breath of fresh air to me. When we're out on our travels and we see an amazing sunset, we sit on the balcony of maybe our Airbnb and we're enjoying the view and we can just take a deep breath and just enjoy the moment for what it is. Those are my glimmers. A bubble bath, that's a glimmer for me. I love taking bubble baths. It's part of my self care. A really good book. My sweet baby bully is a glimmer. All these little things are things that I have to remind myself on a regular basis because I definitely, even though I've been seeing the increase in orders, I still get down and feel unmotivated at times to do this. And I have to remind myself, just like Shauna has asked you guys, what is your why? I have to remind myself of my why, but I also have to take moments and remember all these little sparks of joy. And also what this journey is going to help me so that I have more glimmers in my life. So please, I would love to hear your glimmers. So make sure to write what your glimmers are. Remember, this is a community that we're building here and we want to make sure that we cheer each other on and that we keep each other motivated, focused, and also sharing in these things together. That's why our channel is called No Friend Left Behind. So I hope that you experience a million glimmers this month and that you find the joy in life as well as this Etsy journey that we have going on together. Until next time, bye guys. No friend left behind, baby. Woo! <laughs>